Hey, Chris Scott here with the Singing Channel, one of your hosts. Coming up are the finals of the singing contest at Do Bambini's Pizza in Old Town Shopping Center, Winston-Salem. Now we're going to Bobby Locke and the distinguished judges of the Singing Channel. You are watching the Singing Channel. My name's Bobby Locke, your host. And we have a contest finals on video for you from Do Bambini Pizza at the Old Town Shopping Center in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. We have three distinctive judges who are going to determine the outcome of that contest, which in this case the prize is $25 cash. Our judges are Debbie Anderson Lock, Michael Anderson, and Tammy Davis. So right now, let's take a look at some footage uh, compiled of these judges, and you'll agree that they are qualified to do this job. Hey, y'all. I'm Tammy Davis. I'm a singer-songwriter, recording artist, originally from Lincolnton, North Carolina. When I was 19 years old, I joined the Marine Corps and was in the music program. And since then, I've been in a band and now I have my own band and recording my own music and I'm just uh, working for uh, trying to do what I do. So I'm very glad to be here on the Singing Channel as a judge and I'm looking forward to hearing some good singers. Hello there. The name is Michael Anderson a.k.a. the fantastic, bombastic, iconoclastic one himself, DJ Evolution, the future of karaoke. For 20 years, I have blown roofs off karaoke joints throughout the triad. And now, as the triad's hottest new karaoke DJ, I am always on the lookout for the best new talent for the future of karaoke. I have an eye for who knows how to truly entertain crowds, having done it myself for so very long. It's more than just singing. It's presentation. It's crowd relatability. It's how you can put yourself out to the crowd. And that is what I'm looking for, more than singing. Hi, I'm Debbie Anderson-Lock, and I grew up in a house filled with music. My dad played guitar and banjo, and every Sunday afternoon, we had a bluegrass jam at our house. Um, I learned to play the guitar just a little bit, but music has been my life since I was a little child. And then when I got on into high school, it was Motown and then rock. And after that, my family owned a nightclub where we had all these great national acts like Greg Allman, Steppenwolf, Doc Watson, Percy Sledge, Richard Marks. Three Dog Night, and I have just made music my life. I listen to it all the time, and uh, I am so happy once again to be here on the Singing Channel. All right, well, there you have the judges, and uh, now that we're ready to get into the contest, let's find out who's going to actually be in the contest. There are five singers in this uh, podcast, you might call, and uh, I know all you folks there are watching live at... Uh, do Bambini. So right now would be a good time to make some noise and have a good time in everything you do while you're out having fun. Our contestants are Ed Corbett, Kimmy, Mickey Creel, Rebecca Watkins, and Robin Henson. So let's get on with the show. Welcome everybody. Here we are live at Do Bambini's here at uh, Old Town Shopping Center. Thank you for joining us. Tuesday night live karaoke. And our first contestant is Ed Corbett. Take it off, Ed.
for being so untrue. Oh, you can cry me a river, oh, cry me a river, cause I cried a river. Shed a tear, babe. Remember, I remember all that you said. You told me love was too plebeian. Told me you were through with me. And now you say you love me. Well, just to prove that you do. But you lie. Now you say you love me. Well, just to prove. All right, everyone, give it up for Ed Corbett. Thank you again. We're live here at Du Bambinis. We're here at Old Town Shopping Center every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock shop. Come in and join us. We have our next contestant, which is Kimmy. Come on, Kimmy. Give it up for Kimmy, everybody. Never into 
insecure until I met you. Now I've been stupid. I used to be so cute to me, just a little bit skinny. Why do I look to all these things to keep you happy? Maybe get rid of you and then I'll get back to me. My outsides look cool, my insides blue. Every time I think I'm through, it's because of you. And I try different ways, but it's all the same. At the end of the day, I have myself to blame. I'm just tripping. You can buy a hair if it won't grow. You can fix your nose if it's says so. You can buy all the makeup that Matt can make. But if you can look inside you, find out who am I to be in the position to make me feel so damn unpretty. You can buy your hair if it won't grow. Fix your nose if it says so. You can buy all the makeup that Matt can make. But if you can look inside you, position to make me feel so damn unpretty feel unpretty too make you feel unpretty again we welcome you thank you for joining us tonight at do bambinis we're here again we're here at old shopping uh, old town shopping center please come join us on tuesday nights at 8 p.m sharp give it up for kimmy everybody our next contestant is mickey creel come on mickey give it up for mickey everybody Other 
again for joining us on Tuesday nights at Dwayne Bambini. We have five contestants. Please send your votes in. Our next contestant is Rebecca. Everybody knows Rebecca. Rebecca, come on up. This is Rebecca Watkins. Y'all give it up for Rebecca Watkins, my baby. Whew! Now y'all help me sing this one. Y'all help me. Since you've been away, boy, I ain't got no plans. No, 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 no. And the sound of the rain against my window pane is slowly, is slowly driving me insane. Boy, I'm going down. You ain't around, baby. My whole world's upside down. Sleep don't come easy. Boy, please believe me. Since you've been gone, everything's going wrong. Why'd you have to say goodbye? Look what you done. I can't stop these tears from falling from my eyes. Oh, baby, I'm going down. I'm going down. Cause you ain't around, baby. My whole world's upside down. Oh, baby, I, I'm going I'm going down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going down. Hey, oh, I, 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 I'm going down. I'm going down. Cause you ain't. Wow. 
For Rebecca Watkins, everybody. This is my baby. We thank you for, again for joining us at Do Bambinas down here at Old Town Shopping Center. Come on and join us on Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock. Our next contestant. Come on up, Miss Robin Henson. We have Miss Robin Henson. Y'all give it up for Miss Robin Henson tonight. tonight we thank all our contestants for coming out tonight come on out every night at Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock at do bambinas down here at Old Town Shopping Center and look for Tuesday night and we'll see what our singing channel judges have to say stay tuned everybody we'll see you again here at Dwayne Bambinas Old Town Shopping Center once in Salem North Carolina thank you again everybody see you next week Thank you, Cookie, for hosting the great show at Do Bambini's Pizza. Coming up shortly are the judges' results, and I can't wait to see how it turns out and who will win the contest. You're watching The Singing Channel, and now it's time that everyone's been waiting for. But first, we want to thank the staff and Marco at Do Bambini's Pizza in Old Town Shopping Center in Winston-Salem for this great event. Do Bambinis is a weekly karaoke show on Tuesday nights, 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Check them out on location and on Facebook. 
Once again, here's Bobby Locke and the Singing Channel judges with the results of the contest. Take it away, Bobby. All right, you're watching the Singing Channel. My name's Bobby Locke, and boy, what a show that was, all five of them, from Du Bambini and Winston-Salem. Uh, before I give you the news of the actual scores and the order, um, I would I'd like a few comments from the judges, starting uh, with Debbie A. Locke. Okay, well, Ed Corbett was our first contestant, and I want to say to Ed, I liked your presentation. You really put your heart and soul into it. I'm not real sure that is your song, though, So, but just keep, keep trying and keep singing because you do a, a good rendition. And Michael? I've always liked to see Ed sing. He, he always puts himself into it. I've seen him in places. He gets into it. He puts his body into it. The women start screaming. But Debbie has a point. He needs, he needs to work on the song delivery and pitch and tone and all that. He's good with the jazz standards. From someday he's going to find that perfect song for him. I just know it. And uh, Tammy? Um, I have to disagree. I think the song choice was there. Um, I think maybe the delivery needed a little work, but I thought Ed picked a great song for his voice. And Ed, I'm feeling your style, baby. I'm feeling your style. All right, judges, what do you think about Kimmy, starting with you, Debbie? Kimmy, you did a pretty good job. Um, I would suggest that you just keep on singing in front of people because I think you need just a little more practice and a little bit more stage presence, and you can work on that, and you can do it. Your voice is pleasant. So anyway, that's uh, what I think about Kimmy. Indeed, and I like the song choice, TLC's Unpretty. That was uh, very appropriate, actually. If you think about it, and, but you need to work on uh, presenting the show better, presenting it better. Um, don't rely too much on the TV. Rely on what you know, not what you see. It's easy to project uh, your voice to the crowd that way. I thought, uh, I agree with Debbie, I thought you had um, a great voice and you, you're rhythmically in there with your vocals. Um, however, your projection is not there, so I think maybe work on your projection of your voice. But all around, I loved the quality of your voice, and I think you have great potential. All right, let's move on over to Mickey Creel, uh, judges. Start with you, Debbie. Mickey Creel, to me, was on, she was on pitch the whole time. Her voice is, like, so clear, and, and she did such a good job. She never looked at her, the words on the screen. She has a stage presence all her own, and she just, the whole song just flowed so beautifully it was like music to my ears michael so mellow so smooth georgia on my mind never heard it rendered so well you can tell she put her soul into that song i don't know if she's from georgia or what but she nailed it she did and i agree with you guys um i thought her delivery was superb um you always get extra points with the judges when you're doing a karaoke competition and you don't look at the screen that's always a, a great thing because that shows that you're really preparing and, and, and doing what you have to do to, to uh, be at the top, and uh, you are definitely at the top tonight. All right, and Rebecca Watkins, what do you think there, Debbie? Okay, Rebecca, you have quite a voice there, and uh, you project very well. Um, my only comment is that I would work on your pitch just a little bit, uh, listen to Mary J. Blige's version just a few more times, but you really have what it takes, so you absolutely need to keep on doing what you're doing, Michael. Now, you know, I'm the biggest fan of presence and how you perform, not just mere singing. So in that respect, Rebecca is definitely my favorite of this bunch. I just like the way she can, she can work a crowd. I've seen her before. She can work a crowd, you know. Give her a cordless mic and she'll go crazy. I can tell you that firsthand. But I, that's what I like. Because that's I see a bit of myself in that too. So you are my favorite tonight, Rebecca. Um, Rebecca, I loved your performance. Um, I thought your, um, your uh, energy and all that was completely awesome. Your voice, um, I think it's spectacular. However, sometimes when you have a good voice, um, some singers see tend to over sing so my suggestion would be back up off of that just a little bit um, work more on your stage presence and still having that energy um, I think you're I think you're a winner and last and certainly not least Robin Henson starting with you Debbie 
Robin Henson, you have such a pleasant melodic voice. Um, you need to work on your stage presence uh, a lot, but um, your voice is just really melodic and um, really nice to listen to. So I just advise you to keep on singing, girl. I would advise you to keep on singing, but I would also I would also recommend that you sing something different. Patsy Cline's Crazy is such a standard. Everyone does that song. I mean, you did it well, you did it superbly, but how about a little variety? How about changing it up? Some, something else from Patsy Cline. She's got a lot of songs to choose from. Everyone does Crazy. I challenge you to pick a Patsy Cline song that no one else has done. you got a lot to choose from. I disagree. Michael doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, come on. No, you, he is, doesn't know what he's talking standard. about. That crazy is... is one of the most uh, recorded um, and loved classic country songs of all times. I sing crazy. Everybody loves crazy. It's probably one of the most uh, uh, requested songs at my shows. Keep singing crazy. Your pitch was perfect. I would work on your projection of your voice um, and the delivery of the song, but your pitch was perfect. I love crazy. Keep singing crazy. Don't listen to Michael. <laughs> All right. Well, um, here's the thing. And uh, this was announced on location, and this is the way we do it all over the United States. Of course, world headquarters for us. We're split between Winston-Salem and Los Angeles. You know how it goes. Um, these people that entered, all five of you, um, this was announced as a must-be-present-to-win contest. And we like that concept, and uh, the bar owners and restaurateurs like it because, after all, this is about being uh, on location. So remember, 98% of getting the audition or getting the job is showing up. Now, <laughs> I didn't create that. I've heard that somewhere. All right, well, this is the order, but keep in mind that um, if, number one, if you're there, boy, that's a good thing. You win $25. However... If you're not there, number two wins and on down the line. So uh, don't give up hope just yet as I make these announcements. Look around and see who's in the building. Starting with, in number one place, we're going to start with number one because we're optimistic that you are going to be there tonight. Number one is Mickey Creel. Congratulations, and I hope you are making a lot of noise out there right now. Number two is Rebecca Watkins. Number three is Robin Henson. Number four is Kimmy. And number five is Ed Corbett. But keep in mind, you must be present to win. So that is the order. Congratulations all. Remember, everybody's a winner because you're getting TV exposure. We'll see you next time. And keep on watching The Singing Channel and thesingingchannel.com. My name's Bobby Locke. See you next time. Now, <laughs> I didn't create that. I've heard that somewhere. All right, well, this is the order, but keep in mind that um, if, number one, if you're there, boy, that's a good thing. You win $25. However, if you're not there, number two wins and on down the line. So uh, don't give up hope just yet as I make these announcements. Look around and see who's in the building. Hey! Starting with, in number one place. We're going to start with number one because we're optimistic that you are going to be there tonight. Number one is Mickey Creel. Congratulations. Number two is Rebecca Watson. Number three is Robin Simpson. Number four is Kimmy. And number five is Ed Corbett. That is the order. Congratulations all. Remember, everybody's a winner because you're getting TV exposure. We'll see you next time. And keep on watching The Singing Channel and TheSingingChannel.com. My name is Bobby. Yes, that's it. All right. Mickey is the winner tonight. Mickey. Come on, let me get your money. We have $25 for Mickey tonight. Hey, Chris Scott, here. Is she here? Yes, she's here. Come on, Mickey. Give a big hand for Mickey, our first winner here at New Bambini's Beans on the Singing Channel Contest. It's $25 for you. Thank you so Hope you keep coming back. You did a great job. Give it up for all our contestants tonight. Mickey, Kimmy, Ed, Rebecca, and...
Somebody else. I cannot remember. <laughs> oh, well, I'm number four out of five. I got Kim in. All right, yeah, right. We're going to get back to some karaoke here. We've got Bobby Locks going to take over and do a good show for us. I think we're going to have Lottie come up and sing a song. Oh, 